these injectors are pretty bad. But here's a little close-up of the injector right here. It's it's pretty nasty. I, I mean, the nozzle isn't shooting the way it should. And they're definitely due to be changed for sure. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode on the channel. Man, I am so pumped. I have the new injectors. They just came in. I cut the box open. I know I'm supposed to do that on video, but I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just lay out all the injectors, show you guys what's in the box, explain what I went with, why I went with it, and then sort of the background. Now, I did go with a company called Bitterroot Diesel. That's the company I went with. A lot of that had to do with Kyle, which is Rust Belt Mechanic. He has that bedlined LBZ Duramax with the HSP Twin Kit. So that's a lot of the reason why I dictated my build using this company right here, Bitterroot Diesel. Now, if you guys watched that last video, I talked about my injector balance rates. They're not very good. They're not in the best of shape. Checking the injector balance rates as it's sitting at idle. And as you can tell, I mean, they're not horrible. But you want to be between the negative four or plus four spectrum. Ideal is zero. What you're looking at right now is every injector in it, every cylinder, and it's giving it plus or minus what it needs for fuel in order to compensate per cylinder is how that works right there. So we are a little above on the six and three right here, as you can tell. So that's what's going on in my little world today. Stay tuned. Now I do have the wood stove going, but it's not gonna heat the entire garage. Not only that, it's uh, not insulated. But what I love about the wood stove is it definitely keeps the chill off. Now if it's negative two degrees outside, this is gonna be pointless. And then I know a few of you guys were asking me questions about my wood boiler, my central wood boiler. Pretty much what that does is it heats my water and my house. And that's what that does. It saves me a ton of money in propane. I love this thing, but I don't love the fact that I'm always having to gather wood. And I, this may look like a lot to you, but it's not. This is nothing. This is probably going to last me about maybe two months. I have about four and a half-ish months left of the winter. So I got to get to splitting this stuff. Figured I'd add that in the video because I know you guys were asking me questions about that. I had the opportunity to document Mark doing a full how-to video on how to rebuild an Allison transmission. It is by far the best YouTube video out there. You're not gonna find one as in depth. I mean, he talked about every single nut and bolt, every snap ring, check clutch clearance. I mean, gosh, this, this is so in depth. So anyways, if you guys wanna check that out, just watch, not the video I posted yesterday, but the one before that, check it out. Allison Six Speed How To Step By Step video. It is absolutely amazing. So um, kudos to uh, Kodiak Truck. If you guys are interested in purchasing any of his transfer cases, transmissions, front diffs, anything like that, go on his website. Um, and then uh, if you wanna apply my coupon code, Truckmaster, it'll save you 5%, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and explain these Bitterroot diesel injectors. I'm gonna go ahead and skip the drama and just take all these out of the packages. Ladies and gentlemen, you're looking at a set of remanufactured diesel injectors for a Duramax. Now this particular case, this is for an LBZ. Now, as stated in the beginning of this video, this company's name is Bitterroot Diesel and I will leave the link in the description if you guys are interested in purchasing any of their injectors. As a matter of fact, I spoke with the owner and I told him, you know, I'm doing a YouTube video on these and he hooked me up with a coupon code for you guys. And it's the uh, same thing, guys. Truckmaster, 5%. I always try to keep it stupid simple because I know a lot of you guys ask me questions about, you know, how to find these parts and if I have coupon codes. So I always explain those. When talking injectors, guys, uh, anything within the 40 to 60 overs is actually really good. Sort of moderate turbo upgrade setups like, um, like I have. I have the uh, RDS 68 millimeter. You know, with me running 60 overs, it's probably a good idea that, I'm, that I have a lift pump. Definitely need to get a bigger CP3 or even dual fuelers, which is essentially two fuel injection pumps for the diesel instead of one. But uh, in my case, I'm just going to go with one, and I'm really considering either a 10 or a 12. I'm still doing my homework on that one, but I think I'm going to go with a 12. 
But again, guys, it does come back to tuning. But the next video to come after this one right here, I'm gonna be posting the install video. And I'll be using the Tech 2 to level, you know, the fuel trim out. And I'll explain more about that as I continue on this build here. So make sure you guys just stay tuned. You know, make sure that you guys hit that notification bell and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet. Now I went ahead and just removed all these out of the packaging. Now as you guys can tell, everything is labeled per cylinder. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So again, guys, you are looking at remanufactured injectors, but just by the sheer look of these injectors they look brand new everything from the injector solenoid in the body it just looks amazing it really does it looks brand new you get a brand new crush washer of course at the end here um, a new o-ring just upon opening the package i was very very impressed with how it was packaged and how everything is labeled and very simple i think what sets this company apart from a lot of other companies is the fact that they actually do a flow test on every injector they actually send you the printout on each injector which is really neat everything is tested in milliliters and like for example up here is your highest peak which is at 118 milliliters and that's going to be like your full rev full throttle and they actually run fuel right through these on their flow test. It's neat that they have the ability to do that because now you have a peace of mind knowing that every single injector has been tested. So that's always a huge plus. Basically calibrate every injector on the flow bench and the flow bench starts at 23,000 PSI for the maximum discharge and return rates. And once that's done, the injectors are tested for deceleration, moderate power, idle and point of injection and then that's kind of what you're seeing on the flow bench test results here. I'm very excited to run these particular injectors right here, as well as these startup videos, so make sure you stay tuned for that. If you watched the previous video, you know, it, it's kind of hard to capture on video, especially with it being cold outside, but the truck's been hazy. I have injectors that are above four on the injector balance rates, which you guys saw there in the beginning of the video. So once I end up installing these injectors, I'm gonna be, again, starting it, and then I'm gonna, you know, show you guys the results. I'm gonna show you guys the differences before and afters. So I need you guys to stay tuned for that video as well. Here's a couple things that I decided to purchase here. Return line, brand new, as well as metal fittings instead of plastic fittings, which they put on the injectors. They put plastic fittings, which I don't understand. And then, well, I know it's not pressurized crazy or, or anything like that because they're just returned, but why not just put metal ones in? It's from five to 80 foot pounds, and then I know they have newton meters as well. But uh, I'm going to be using that on the injector hold down bolts. I want to make sure I get really accurate. I don't want to mess that up. Just a few things that I picked up for the job here. I uh, don't know for sure if I'm going to use the SP Tools half inch electric to zip out the, the actual injector hold downs. I'm talking about 60 overs. It's really talking about the nozzle tip itself being honed. So it would be flowing 60% better. That's essentially what it means. Talking 60 over injectors, you would be saying something like 60 over stock. Um, and 60 over stock is going to be like a serious upgrade designed for guys pushing the envelope on stock bottom ends, which I'm a little concerned about. I'm not going to lie. Like Kyle's truck, you know, he's got the 60 overs. It's ideal for a twin kit, but my goal right here is a single charger at the moment. I, I want to use the Ryan's diesel service 68 uh, millimeter turbo here. I want to use that and try to achieve that 700 horsepower rating. That's why I'm doing this build, guys. The weak link for me is the head, so I definitely need to do ARP head studs and the CP3 and a few other things that I haven't hit on. But for the most part, that's what you're looking at. When I was talking to the team at Bitterroot Diesel there, the owner actually was telling me that it is it definitely takes a lot of work to hone 60 overs. And I know that he was talking about how he even does a process where it's even 5% larger so they can easily hit that flow rate easily, no problem. I know a lot of injector companies out there just sort of slap parts together, test them, call them a day, package them, and then ship them out to you. Uh, this company isn't a very large company, so they can actually take their time, do it the right way. Injectors would run about $2,800 uh, for 60 overs. It depends. They do go up, of course, in price if you want to go any higher, you know, 100 overs, whatever. I think it would be in your best interest to do some more research. Reach out to those guys out there. I'll leave all their information in the description below. Stated in this video, if you guys want to buy any injectors from them, use my coupon code. It's going to save you 5%. Another thing before I end this video, go in the description below. Click on my link, truckmasterdiesel.com. If you guys haven't already done it, go ahead and pick up some sweet merch. Uh, sticker, t-shirt, key tag, whatever it is, guys. And for every one purchase item on my website is one entry in. You're automatically entered in to win any turbo you want off the Ryan's Diesel Service website. Stipulation right there is if you do win the turbo, you do have to give up the core, but that's just how it works. Ryan's Diesel Service and I have hooked up to give away this turbo. We're very excited to do this, and, I, and it's a great way to kind of give back to you guys. 
as the viewers. It, oh, by the way, if you have a Ford, this also applies because he does Ford turbos as well. So anyways, guys, that is all the time that I have for today. Thank you so much for stopping by at the channel. As always, keep following my build as it progresses. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.